What's this protest mean to you? This protest means to me that we've got to get manufacturing jobs back in the city of Hamilton and all of Ontario and all of Canada. This is a start. From here on, we have more protests and more protests until we get this issue resolved. Instead of losing all our jobs down in the States, keep our jobs here in Canada and let the government do something about it. Personally, what do you have to, what do you have to say? I have to say I thank everyone for coming out and supporting this day that affects all workers. Anything else you wanted to say? Strength for workers. Absolutely. Come today, uh, MPP Paul Miller, thanks a lot for showing up. Hey. Councillor Scott Cabal, he's helped us out today with the city for the demonstration. Appreciate you, for, appreciate you taking the time to come, Scott. And uh, if I've missed anybody, sorry, uh, I'll try to see you. if I see anyone later, I'll acknowledge you. But the first speaker we want to have today is Gary Pedron, he's the president of 7135 Steelworkers. Uh, and I'd like to ask him to come up to speak Hi, now, Brother Pedron. How you doing? Good. I didn't memorize this. First, I'd like to thank everyone for coming out. I really appreciate it. My name is Gary Pedron, President of Local 7135. My local is in the same plight as many people here. The battle against job loss in the manufacturing sector and job loss in general. In the last two years, Local 7135 has lost over a thousand jobs. We're facing layoffs now as we speak. We're also dealing with a plant that has opened up two other plants, one in Kitchener and one in Alabama. We're in trying times and we hear from our government leaders, it's okay. <coughs> we'll provide you with training dollars. Training dollars is a band-aid fix to a much larger problem here in our community. For every person that's laid off in our community, there's less spending in our community in our community, which means people in our community will not be able to pay for all the things that we work hard and enjoy. This means that we'll have difficulty sending our kids to school, college, university. This leads us to free trade. Free trade is not free trade unless all the conditions that we have to live and work in are equal to the conditions that we're trading with. This includes health and safety, wages, and the cost of doing business. With our government's inactions, it's difficult for us to buy our cars, houses, and raise families without our jobs. We hear it in the news today. Our, our brothers and sisters are losing their jobs in, in CAW, along with my, my local, Local 7135. Ideally, I don't want to be retrained. I would like to keep our jobs, and I believe that our government should do something to help us keep our jobs here in Canada. Here, here. Here, here. It's getting more and more difficult to buy Canadian. And I'd like to sort of wrap her up and I want to thank everyone again for coming out. This affects all of us. I really appreciate the show of support for my local and for all the other locals that are going through the same difficult situation that we're going through. My local's Local 7135. We're the last Canadian rail manufacturer in Canada. We're an icon, a staple. You can't tell me that Canada doesn't need a rail builder. Keep it Canadian. Thank you. Here, here. The steel workers were involved in the West Ray Bill. That took 10 years to get a bill to protect workers who were murdered on the job. 10 years. But to, to shaft 9,000 workers in Toronto, 30 minutes, no problem. We're all together on this. And then this morning I heard one of the parties, and I won't mention, said, oh, we introduced a bill to protect the workers. But they voted to, to shaft the 9,000. We're going to give workers more rights. 
So the shame of this whole business, and they think they think the workers are idiots. So anyways, I think on that note, I'm going to stop. I'd like to thank everyone for coming. We're going to march that way. We want to make it very vigorous. We're going to have a barbecue afterwards. And we're going to have our meeting, anyone who wants to discuss these issues downstairs, because we are serious about this and we're going to discuss it to find out which way forward, because these monopolies, they aren't interested in solving that problem. And the politicians, there's none of them brave enough to stand up to these monopolies to say no. So we're going to have to do it. Thank you very much. This is Wayne Gates from Local 199 CAW in St. Catharines. She hasn't had a baby yet. Wayne, I just wanted to get a few comments from you on why you're here today, why your locals are participating. Well, that, that manufacturing crisis is exactly that. It's a crisis, but it's not just a crisis in Hamilton or Niagara. It's right across the country from coast to coast to coast. We just heard the president of the steelworkers talk about Kango. Can somebody explain to me why we're tearing up food in the Niagara region and having it shipped in from China? Why auto workers are losing their jobs every day? Why steelworkers are losing their job when corporations make profit? This this is a fight for the labor movement. We have to make sure that the labor movement is united on this issue. It's the only way we're going to win the fight. That's why we're here today. Thanks very much, Wayne. My it's, a good, it's a beautiful day that we're marching down the streets of Hamilton for May Day. It's the International Union Day. It's about time that the government stood up and looked up to the workers' rights and everything else. They're sitting on their asses day and night doing nothing for the workers before this country is destroyed. So wake up and smell the coffee. We're going to start electing people that are friendly for the union and the manufacturing people. Here, here, Jake. Thank you. Okay, this is Gary Howe, Vice President of uh, Local Panel Five. Uh, it's May 1st, 2008. We're out here today to uh, protest the loss of manufacturing jobs. Uh, manufacturing jobs have been crippled in Hamilton. Uh, we've seen all kinds of places shut down. Firestone, JIK's. Uh, it goes on and on. Our own local, when I started there in 1978, we had 13,000 members. Now we're down to 1,700. And we're really concerned today with National Steel Car with them building a plant in Alabama that uh, this plant up here in Canada is going to be devastated once that plant is done. Thanks. All right. This is Ed Grady, Vice President of Local 16506, Amalgamated Local in Hamilton, Ontario. What brought you here today, uh, Ed? Oh, I just support some of the fellow workers of Reen Canada. 200 of them lost their jobs. That was two years ago. Some of them um, have been through two or three jobs since. Some of the jobs they have, they're through a temp agency. No benefits, no pensions. Uh, there are a lot of them hurting, and we should still be running. We should still be manufacturing water heaters. They're bringing them up from Mexico, and they're nowhere near the uh, quality that the Canadians, uh, my brothers and sisters, used to build. All right, thanks very much, Ed. Appreciate welcome, it. Mike. Nice to see you. Okay.